Okay, it's eleven thirty. Let's take the first challenge. So two now. That's a bit more to give me a pace, isn't it? But it's only a two minute game, I have to try and keep control. Keep counterplay to a minimum. I have to be careful about not pre moving. Try and use these light squares. Clamp down on B4. Okay, here we go. What to do? Control the central file. Try and weaken the pawn chain. Bishop's locked in. Okay, there's Queen H3 coming up. Pressure. This bishop's not doing anything. I've just realised. Okay. Um, this bishop's not doing anything. Can I just hit F3 while well, that queen's over there? Okay. Check. I hope otherwise I'm losing the rug. Okay. Thanks, ST. Okay, on a full five minute game. Generally, three minute, but I think I'm making an exception. So, occasionally, I think there's an exception here. Uh, five minute. So, English opening. I'm playing viewers, yes. If you go to my page and use the uh, challenge swords, uh, so my page is you know, here. Challenge for a three minute game with zero increment, please. That's the standard time control I like. I can hear the birds tweeting. That's nice. I don't know if you heard that in the background. Hmm. Okay, I've lost the light. The dance my bishop doesn't matter. I hope not. I might take care on bishop here. Okay, that strengthens my center. There's a concern about bishop g4 here, isn't there? Oh, I thought that would have maybe attacked my center. You know what, I'm going to go back. <laughs> I don't want double pawns. I want to kick this bishop away. Maybe, you know, like this. Okay, there's a d4 square to be had on ed. Uh, I think I'll take that d4. So if I cancel, is f5, right? And e6, I hope. <clears throat> Hmm. So F five and E six. So 
So I've got this past pawn here. There's a pawn hanging. I'll take that. Yes, I will simplify. E7 looks dangerous. Okay. I'll try for two connected pass pawns. In fact, I've noticed something about this position. I can probably get away with f6 if takes, takes, takes. f7 is queening. Probably get away with f6. Well, here I can get away with because f7 check. Or rook takes, rook takes the 8 check. <clears throat> okay, there's a bit of a concern there, but I think black gets mated on route D2 actually immediately. Okay, thanks for the game. All right, George Dev. Let's try this Knight's Tango. All right, so. A system. I've played a system of sorts. It's a kind of king's engine in reverse almost. So queen d oh. Okay. For the moment, yeah, this is all dangerous for e3. It is dangerous. Try and hold that a bit. Let's see here. Can I actually undermine d4 with f4 or not? I mean, like e4. Okay. Still a reasonable position, I think, for me. If I can double the rooks. Can I? Try and seal this F5. Possibility. G5, Queen H5. Uh huh. I've just realised e4, yeah. Okay, I've realised now. I've just blundered a pawn. I should lock that down, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. It's uh, blunder time already. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, I'm hitting H4. Maybe nine D five. Okay, stabilize and then nine D five coming up. D five. F seven is weaker now. That's the problem with that. F seven is weaker. So I can take that. And queen here. Fratting rook g seven, queen f seven, chat raising. Okay, I can win the rock at least. Right, thanks for the game, George Dove. Okay. Gorgip. Try King's Engine attack system in this game. I like my systems. Gogip beat me last time. Well done, Gogip. On that, I hope. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit luckier today. Uh, so this trying to generate some counterplay is evident. Uh, okay, so Queen E2 for Knight C4, C3, F4, E5. Keep this locked in. Hit this guy. Use the sensor. Right, so knight c4. Okay, I can just get a nice position with knight takes, but I'm going to leave that for a moment. I don't want this uh, necessarily immediately f4, e5. We'll win a piece. h4, f4. Okay, I think I'm threatening knight takes and then. Actually, bishop f4. Even better, would trap the queen. I think bishop f4 has queen h5. Alright, I'm back to f4 then. Um, there's no bishop d4. I think this runs into e5. This actually doesn't, I don't think that is that sound. I think it runs into e5, this. Hmm. Okay. Try and keep this rook out of the game. The rook's hanging. I think I will dare take that rook. And just return back. So it's a protected piece, it's unprotected there. Okay, it looks promising. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the pieces of my opponent locked in. Blockade seems natural just to lock in the bishop. Oh, Queen d5 would have won the piece. I've noticed that now. Mm. 
That's still a nice pen. If I play Queen E6. It's a nice pin. I don't think it's uh, necessary to play that accurately. But okay, Rook D7. Um, actually, am I getting complacent? Or am I? I'm going to take him threatening mate. This Queen hasn't got time to swoop in. I mean, actually, hasn't got these squares anyway at the moment to swoop in. It's caused damage. It's not. It's very theoretical at the moment. At the moment, I'm threatening Queen takes. Okay, thanks for the game, Cogip. Okay, let's, I'm going to be boring with this King's Engine attack system. This is a system you can use in your own games, which kind of Bobby Fisher used in his early career. I mean, the systems, I don't know why. There's been, being, there's been some system bashing recently. I don't know why, because I think systems give you an opportunity to just be stronger at all the other aspects of chess without going into that road of long road of learning tons of opening theory so you know if it's good enough for Bobby Fisher Benton Larson with B3 Benko with G3 and the list goes on you know all these people had systems and they're some of the best players in the Western world you know Benton Larson with B3 and they have their systems I don't see what's the matter with that if you're really strong tactically and later if you want to like sharp stuff you can learn sharp stuff but we're in this age also that everyone can get really really sharp the prepared so I think systems I mean that's why they're coming in a bit more popular nowadays to avoid nasty surprises potentially from opponents so yeah I think I think the argument against a London system or the variety of pool structures isn't an argument either because you know in the London system if you played the London system better and better you become more adapted uh, to the opponents uh, particular setups it's not as if you have to have the triangle every time so yeah I, I kind of like my systems just from the point of view of chess study time for other aspects of chess not being drowned in opening theory but here yeah I think I've succeeded in, I mean, this King's Indian attack gives you a nice bishop anyway. Cozy looking bishop quite often on this diagonal. Okay, it's pinned though, it is pinned, yes. Uh, okay, if I relieve responsibility, oh, there's Queen B5 potentially coming up. Rook G1, okay. There's some danger here. There is some danger here. I think I want to evict this rook as priority. Actually, I do want to play bishop e4. And, uh, evict the queen now, queen f3. There's no queen d2. This knight protects d2. Okay, so um, this is a nice control of the position. It's very comfortable, I think. Just in case I want no backfire on the B5, if I ever do take that. Okay, let's go. Let's go then. Let's just cash out. Or am I running into bishop e5? There's king g1 for a moment. Okay, so knight c4. Right. So bishop d1 is a good, good thing, isn't it? My opponent, so I can't be too complacent now. I think there's a knight a3. Okay, I'll take that. 
try and get this outside pass pawn, which should be good. This outside pass pawn. I suppose D3 is going to be used. No? Okay, thanks for the game, Ajahn. Dweep. Let's try King's Engine attack for the moment. Seems to have the luck with the King's Engine attack. Oh, brave but stupid. Thank you. 2019 has subscribed. Tier 1. Thank you. By the way, I might have an opening course coming out soon, um, uh, very, very soon, uh, within the next, I hope, two, two, three days, I hope. I'll let you know on that. If you're interested in a quick uh, guide to certain openings uh, in particular, I've been working on it for quite some time. It'll have over 30 hours of content. to be released very soon if you join my team on the chess I can tell you a notification of vouch code for it my team at the chess um, I don't know if I can open it in a new tab I hope you can join my team at the chess also there's this uh, team thing coming up yeah but I, I do give notifications for vouch codes of courses yeah on the team uh, messages I've just blundered this pawn right I'm hoping that F5 counterplay is enough. I'm losing. Oh, not yet. I'm not losing that pawn yet. I can lose that pawn very so very shortly. So I'm hoping a little bit of counterplay over here. Or maybe in the center, central pawn mobility. Unleash the bishop. All right, so I've got central pawn mobility G file potential. It yeah, looks good. Uh, I don't like. I don't like. Oh, the queen hasn't got H four yet, but it could have. Let's just go here. Just against G six, queen H four, G six and queen H four. Okay, it's getting a little bit messy now. Uh, protect f1 in advance of g6 now and queen f4. Don't want to lose another pawn. Oh, Dweep's actually leading against me. This is a very dangerous opponent. I've just realized <laughs> Dweep's 3 2 against me. Oh my word. I keep losing to Dweep. I'm actually, I'm actually, Dweep's actually got a plus score against me. <laughs> uh, I've just realized now. Okay. I gotta make sure things go well here. I hope. Okay, maybe C takes, or just I don't know about taking the exchange. I think just takes. I don't like weakening my king too much in a fast time control. I'd rather just win a couple of pawns there. A pretty non-controversial win of a couple of pawns without any weaknesses created. But I mean, bishop e4 and rook g1, you know, bishop g6, that sort of thing. Looks uh, very good. That's a self controversial self pin moment. I'll probably use this rook. Okay, can I just break through with this? f5 on this g file. Okay, queen e5. There's a check. Oh, there's a swing hanging here, so knight takes would be needed. There's f7 as well. This is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I, I can just play f8 here. Right. Okay. 
Now, probably, yeah, this King's Engine attacks work quite well today. Thanks, Dweep. Just leveled the score only. Thanks very much. Chesley, Chesley, let's play King's Engine attack again. I mean, Fisher used King's Engine defense, so it's kind of reversing what he used in, in reverse. Uh, so as well, you know, leveraging, refactoring. If it was programming, it'd be called refactoring, just removing duplication uh, from what you need to know. Uh, okay, so this bishop a6 is annoying, right? Okay, so e5, knight, c4. B5, knight, d6. I think that's reasonable then. Given that it gives that knight d6 a square, knight on d6. And I think we have the basic center. We have got the extended center like this, and like this, and like this. So getting a knight to d6 is part of a central campaign. It's not just the four central squares. You can think about d6 as well as a nice central square. That's part of the opening battle. So uh, that extended center is interesting to consider. But yeah, knight d6. When I, I play knight d6 now, it's you know quite an octopus knight, really, isn't it? It's kind kind of an octopus. Okay, so I win the exchange there, or we'll take out the bishop. I think I'll win the exchange. Okay, so e5 is a bit vulnerable. I don't mind the double pawns if I don't lose that e5 pawn. I think I'm going to reinforce e5 here. I'll reinforce e5. If I reinforce it, coordinates all the pieces against that strong central square, overprotecting the strong central square. Uh, but on the other hand, I can see a snag. Okay. That frees vulnerable as well. All right, is it possible? Yeah. I have to be careful. H five and knight h four protects g two. Is that a move to play here? Queen f three or key three. B3 for a moment, I'll weaken D4. It's quite a commitment to weaken D4. Can do this. Well, the knight protects F5. So I'm threatening to maybe squish the bishop a bit with F6. The rook protects B3 right now. Okay, I'll cash out there. Now, knight D5 looks tempting. Getting the king off the dark squares is useful usually as a safety. Is it possible my opponent does have compensation for being exchanged out? It is possible. Two pawns for the exchange, but I wouldn't take the rook because okay, it doesn't. Ah, okay. There's work to be had. Yeah, done. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit worrying now. All these pawns. I'm a bit less worried if I've got a past pawn or a knight. 
Okay, thanks for the game, Jesse. Jesse, for me. Snell, 64. Okay, I prefer three minute, by the way. Can we, can we have a rematch on three minute? Later, if you rematch me on three minute. Crep, please, three minute. I really prefer the three minute time control. Oh, this is the, uh, what is this called? The Bong Cloud. Yes. This this does have an application if you're a streamer. <laughs> if you're a streamer, I think it's an entertainment perspective. It's the sort of stuff I should have been doing all these years <clears throat> for, to boost my uh, viewing numbers playing the outrageous Bong Cloud. Uh, it, it just never occurred to me until recently that... There's a whole set of openings which are just good if you want to be an entertainer. Yeah. Nakamura plays it. You know, Magnus Colson plays it. Uh, beating GMs quite often on the faster time controls. I, I, yeah, okay. Uh, it does have an application, in my view, to play like this. On the other hand, the slight downside, I could smash my opponent's bits with the king safety issue on a good day here. I would hope I, I would break through on a good day. Um, which might not be today. By the looks of this, it's not going to be today. Uh, now I'm just a pawn down, aren't I? Oh dear, this could be embarrassing. I'm going to lose to the bond cloud at this rate. About to lose to the bond cloud. <laughs> I'm laughing at the thought of it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the very thought of losing to this bond cloud is amusing now already <laughs> and off putting at the same time okay I've not done anything to punish my parents opening the only thing I've done is gain a bit of time on the clock. B four B five B four Okay, let's try with B four. Oh, I've just simplified further. Well done, well done. I'm just, I'm just congratulating myself though. <laughs> just simplified further, but, but, maybe I get a decent night out of this. Try and lock in this bishop before it runs rampant. Can I secure my knight? So I'm bring my king up the board. At the cost of another pawn. Let's go over here to run pin this guy and bring the king up. Uh huh. Oh, that's what I was waiting for, to use that knight somehow. C 
got I got lucky on this casual face. Okay. Jav. Okay, so there's a fairly decent kind of attacking plan in my view quite often. I find I get crushed on this side of the board. Which is likely at the moment. Giving up the dance, Grand Bishop. Maybe Bishop here and Queen H6 is pretty crude, but it does clear out the bishop without using a clearance sacrifice. Clears the bishop out of the way. Threatening HG. F7. Uh, I missed my opportunity to do that just now, but the H file opens up, right? So, um, onto the H file at the cost of the little A4 pawn. Thanks, Jav. Yeah, so that was getting a bit dangerous. I'm prepared to transpose into Nims engine and go with a little dance square plan. Although this pin is kind of annoying. I think White could consider sacking. So. Uh huh. Yeah, this could be an Achilles Hill later. F5. Was well one a C5? There's two issues in the possession at least. C5 break, weak light square. Can I try and um, provoke a fixing so that C5 no longer exists as a strategic pawn break? <clears throat> if I'm threatening something, it's not a threat at the moment. All right, maybe that I have my own structural attack with g4 on the side of the board to consider and rook h8. King on the dark square away. That file's ready to be hijacked. I need g4. So I think I need to somehow ramp up. In a non controversial way, the pressure without this possibility of my foals that I'm opening or whatever being hijacked there. So, um, let's see how will I do this? <clears throat> I 
Maybe age four is is a, a better idea. Form porn. Okay, it's quite a commitment. This form porn. It traps the rook. Actually, nearly. Okay. Nice. Did I achieve anything? Maybe I've achieved rook a2. This knight probably needs to come back in the game. Oh, there's, a rook, there's, a, there's a knight rather to be taken. Well, there's queen c1, there's no queen g4 check. There isn't queen c1, I've just hallucinated. Yeah, okay. Um. If I reroute this knight usefully to g5. Alright, that means the second rank. Queen e4 here. Thanks, thanks, LHS. Oh, could you play a few more games, Giovanni, please? I, I'm a bit scared of playing question mark players. I'm a chicken. Uh, if you get a savage rating before playing me, that would be much appreciated. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so c3, queen c2. Oh. Right, this d3 looks vicious. Yeah. I've played like this with black in the past in an over the ball game. Eventually, I lost. Collinson, Adam Collinson. Eventually I lost on the light squares like D5 later. I think Collinson just strangled me on the light squares later. D5 is a particular issue here because while white controls D4, black doesn't really, with pawns, control D5. A lot of games in this structure are won sometimes with this D5 concept. Just giving up dark square bishop would amplify that a bit. I think I will pivot around d5. Okay, so knight e4. Oh, I've just given up a piece for nothing. Oh, God. That was a shame. I, I was thinking it was protected for some reason. That's an idiotic move I've just played. Okay. Oh, that was a blunder. An outright blunder. I was getting too excited about my d5 square, I think. Okay, maybe maybe there's still a bit of life in the possession. A rook versus knight and bishop. OK. 
Okay, what would I need to do here? Uh, maybe just exchange off the queen. There's some prospects of the rook being able to munch pawns. I would hope. on this okay, if I hit that guy again this way I don't want to give a dangerous passport in a hurry Is my luck in? Yeah. This knight seems to be stranded. My luck's in at the moment. Yeah, I, I did horrifically blunder here uh, in this game. All right, thanks, monkey. So, bullet expert. Okay. It's a three-minute game. Is it a problem? This possession? I mean, maybe. I mean, I hope not. I'm hoping F6. Right. Myself. There's knight e4 coming up. Okay, so let's unpin uh, to be able to be able to play king g7 stuff. That's with tempo at least. Can I play rook e8? Apparently knight f3 for rook e1. Except I've just gone into that. That was good. For my opponent. Is the king has the king got an issue here? It looks as though the king might have a major issue here. Uh. 
a bit lucky again in these endings recently. I've been a bit lucky in these endings. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. Okay, let's get that ending again. Um, Rook versus Bishop and Knight. Okay, five seconds, one, two, three, four, five, okay. I'm spicing things up, in my imagination anyway. Maybe I'm not actually in reality spicing anything up here. A5 and Bishop D6 and C5. Rook A. Actually, why aren't I playing Bishop A6? I mean, I guess I guess White can castle Queenside. It's not an entirely big deal. Right here, I, I think I'm playing bishop e5. All right, maybe I'm ready for this. I'm all ready, I think, with bishop, with this knight h7 in my imagination again. f6 is knight g6. Is it, maybe I put the rook here so I can play e5 immediately. I'd play that immediately. Because I want to unjustify rook h3, that the knight's kind of blocking the g file, but this is getting a bit dangerous. Uh, e5 coming up. All right, this is getting a bit dangerous. Maybe uh, knight g5 or e5. Knight, knight, knight g5 hits the rook. There's no rook g3 now, right? So if the queen moves, I think knight g5 and e5. Four looks as though it's got some up, upsides to it. Uh, it's sort of more shelter for my king, if in a way. Uh, let's blockade here. This piece is unprotected, though. Protect it. Now there's knight f3 maybe on the cards as well. The luxury of that protection frees my knight up. Okay. Uh, Alright, is there a way into my king side here? With queen a7 there is. Alright, let's do this defensive move. Oh, crikey. Okay, that's that's actually a check. All right, okay, I'll, I'll take that. And can I get rid of this guy?
No, I'll just drop C6. I'm not defending this very well. Okay. Mind you, the knight does seem stranded. Maybe it's it's enough. All right, thanks for the game, Sean. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Puzzler, oh, three minute two. Snell 64, three minute. Any new people who haven't played before? Have we played? Oh, we did play, sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll get back to you guys after this game for a rematch. Sorry about that. I, I actually thought I haven't played, but yeah, it's getting this dangerous possession again. Uh, dangerous looking possession. Okay. Is it sound? Because I, I think. I've got some things going on here. Well, I don't mind that. Intuitively, that looks kind of cosy. Intuitively. Undoubling forms like that. Oh, that's curious. I'm not sure about this next thing. <laughs> no. If he gets a pawn back, this could be very dangerous for me. King d5. Uh, Ninety five. Hmm. Intuitively, I'm thinking this should be fun. Rook c seven. So aggressive king in the ending. That holds B4. Try and squeeze over here, some sort of mating that. I was blunder that pawn. Yes.
Well, okay, I'm hoping this is still a reasonable position. Doubt it now. I doubt it. Losing all my pawns. Oh dear. The yeah, fruit threatens. Decided by clock pressure this game. My king's more aggressive though. I, I like my aggressive king, but is that enough to pull this out? Oh, the pawn is dangerous. Tough. Okay. King's Indian attack. So this looks a reasonable setup. Start with. I would welcome this to go back here, fragmenting pawns. E5 is also something. D5 is now strategically interesting. I if I pivot around, exchange off one pair of knights. Can I just recollect this guy? Actually. The queen's off. Right, rook a5, I'd prefer to keep the backward pawn going. Is there a tactic here uh, with knight b6? C seven Oh Okay. I don't want to lose rook on A six. It looks as though I might be getting in trouble here. Yeah, I know I've, I've I know I've lost the exchange. Uh, I was thinking cement this knight though. Yeah, I didn't want to drop my rook. Uh, official trouble. I had. Mind you, that's a nice knight. Nice central pawns. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay, this is big trouble for me now, this move. My second row is very weak. Oh, crikey. Quick e6 before I get blasted to some brains. Okay. 
Okay, there's queen h7 now. Is that a bit of luck? Skate squares is sometimes more effective than immediate check. You can cut some escape squares, making a check more effective. Right, but how to proceed here? But I should give that one up. The king has to help out. The king helps out. Pawns can help out. Potentially. It's not pinned. Not so much of a snell, quite quick. Well played. I'm no increment, please. No increment. So D five. There's a great gift here. Okay, there's a few pawns for it. I so, check here. That's good. Open up this. Okay, this looks as a rook. G2 is going to be dangerous. G5 rook G2. Thanks. Okay. So, have we played thingy today? Not yet. No match record there. Okay, I, I'm gonna have to one, two, ah, okay. Okay, I'll 
I'll put this back. I don't want the double pawns necessarily. That could result. <clears throat> so rook bn and b5. Okay, I, I'm tempted. I'll take that exchange. Queen a3 for rook b2. I'm, I'm hitting e3 anyway, but rook b2 is interesting as well. Okay. Rook C2 coming up. And now, okay, oh, there's a pin here. Okay, thanks. Oh, so, uh, okay. I'm going to try a different opening, like Karakon, I think. Maybe. I'll be playing for the next 15 minutes till about 1, and I'm going, guys, just let you know. So, another 15 minutes, I think. If you want to get your challenge in, uh, just check my email. Uh, okay, so okay, follow me. So, are we playing? Yeah, we've got a game. Okay, we're back in this thing. Okay, what about G6 here? this to avoid double pawns right on pin slightly uncomfortable position if I play f5 or b6 uh, bishop c5 looks Dangerous. Yeah, this looks dangerous. There is a nice light pawn, but this looks dangerous. I'm trying to keep the knight out. Yeah, it's all looking a bit scary. Okay, there's an immediate knight d5 actually, I just realized. An immediate knight d5 threat. Ooh. This looks dangerous, very dangerous. Am I lost? D6. 
desperate pawn sack. It looks horrible, crushing. Would there be any way out of this? If the bishop moves 95, it looks really strong. Hmm. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> okay, um, okay, this looks very strong, yes, very winning. I feel I shouldn't have taken the risk in the opening now. I have that funny feeling. G6 is that's really such an annoying thing that I have to say the opening now oh, I, I felt I was worse right at the opening groveling <sighs> groveled for a, a draw on time terrible that This looks, by contrast, a good opening position now to play with. It looks as though f5, knight f4 is also, it's got a point to it. Key h7 is always knight g6.
Mm, I think... Mm, is it possible I've got Queen G4 or am I running into something? All right, there's Queen H5 here anyway. I was thinking um Queen G three, Queen F three. No, Queen G four, I mean. I was thinking Queen G four, but anyway. Uh okay. Okay, thanks for the game, Mr. Puzzler. Okay, one last game, um or two, uh, until one o'clock. Just bullet game. <clears throat> That's a good point. I think I should offer a pawn here at this point. Thanks for the game. Okay, I, I think, uh, okay, one last game with someone I haven't played earlier. Probably, I don't think we played earlier, judging by the scoreboard here. Two protects C two nine D five C three coming up. Control, I mean, can protect that. Bishop d5, bishop d5 here. Or d4. Okay, I think. Can I take it here? So Bishop F seven, Bishop E eight. Or this. Okay. 
Try and keep my pieces protected because I'm, yeah, wondering if I'm going to blunder at some point. Is Bishop E4 something? Bishop E4. I think the Queen. Okay, how do I want to play this? How do I want to play this? Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, if you haven't checked it out, just please do check out my tactics course, King's Crusher TV slash Chess Tactics is the core cool one. Okay, I'm knackered now. I'm going. Uh, let's pass on the stream. Thanks so much. <laughs> 